Hey, welcome to Graphic Policy Television, GPTV. I'm Brett, and my hands is the Walking Dead Deluxe Number 5. Uh, for those who haven't been following along, the Walking Dead is back in color, in full color. Been interesting rereading this series since, uh, you know, the world has changed since it was uh, first released and since it ended. Shit, I think the world has changed since it's ended. Let's put it, let's think about that. Um, so Walking Dead uh, Glux, it's, it's the original comic, but in full color. So written by Robert Kirkman, Tony Moore's the artist, colorist Dave McCaig, letterers Russ Wooten. Um, yeah, this has been a really, really interesting series. I, I, I've liked going back and revisiting it, especially due to COVID. Um, the, you know, uh, zombie films have always had a, uh, a history of being commentary about um, society at the time, like the uh, Night of Living Dead had to deal with, you know, the, the fear of communism and, and the, the um, hysteria around that. You had, uh, which one was the one in the mall? It was about consumerism. Was it Return of the Living Dead? Whatever. The one about the mall in the mall was about consumerism. You know, horror films as a whole have a great history. It was just sci-fi as a whole, storytelling as a whole. It was a great history of, of talking about society. So, you know, when Walking Dead first came out, all those years ago, I mean, we were kind of in, like, a economic slush, like, worry, um, the, the fear of the unknown, like, you see a resurgence of walking, of, uh, of horror stories and zombie stories around that, those sort of times. Flash forward all these years, now you've got COVID, and so I think it's really interesting to read a series about people abandoned by their government and having to make do with a plague all around them. I mean, it's very, very, uh, timely for what's going on, um. I, I personally think it's it's just really interesting to kind of go in and dive and read it in that context and that this issue especially has got a lot of interesting moments that you could easily see as reflections and commentary about what's going on now. Um, there Much of the issue is debate about whether or not um, Coral should get armed and uh, being trained of how to shoot guns. So, you know, there's, there's I think, a really interesting thing of, you know, you can look at at, at Carl not having a gun as being, the, you know, that pro throw him into society I mean, it's not quite a perfect analogy, but, you know, that go-back-to-school sort of stuff. Um, and just, you know, kids kid, don't get sick. You don't have to worry about it. So there's like, it has that ring of that, the, like, give them the gun, kind of has this pro-mask, keep them safe sort of vibe about it. Um, it's interesting where all that goes, because I think it's, I'm kind of on the side of the pro-gun on this one. Um, so I think all that is, is, is really fascinating. The other is, Rick comes off as a dick in this one. Like, he really is kind of a sexist pish, uh, piece of shit in this. It's something that they definitely dumped in the character. It's a couple lines that belittle one of the, the female characters, um, but makes him come off like an ass. And it's really kind of fascinating. I mean, like, Rick's kind of a hit-and-miss character after you know, for a while, and, and sooner or later grows, and I think that's going to be one of the more fascinating things to go through the second read. But, like, God, dude's kind of a douche here. He deserves to get slapped a little. Um... The other is, like, this is where the bodies start piling up. Like, we've seen all the zombies, but, like, five issues in, and Robert Kirkman's just dropping people left and right. So, um, I think that it's a, it's a brilliant move in that it catches readers off guard. Um, the art, you know, it's, it's always interesting. Like, I'm, I'm still up in the air as to what the colorization does to the comic. It definitely is a different vibe, and, and it's not quite as creepy and scary to me. Um, you know, we're going to see as the series goes, I think it'll be really interesting to see, especially with some maybe the bloodier st stuff, like the governor scene, holy shit, when that comes up, I think it's going to be crazy when it's in color. Um, but I think it's just, it's a fascinating thing to see in color, like there's just a, a tenseness about it that I don't think is quite there. The thing that I really do, and, and it's not a, a knock at all, it's just, it's a different, it's a different vibe, it, like it's, it just really shows the difference between black and white and color, colorization, like they're, they're, can make, it can make a huge difference. Um, the other thing I think I really like about this is that um, Robert Kirkman's including extras in the back of the issue. And to me, it's it's really interesting of not just reading the letters of the time, but his notes. Like, he usually puts up a script and, and goes through and tells a little bit about the script. Here, he talks about the character Jim a lot and some of his plans with him, and the plans are really, really cool. Um, definitely, like, if you are a fan of The Walking if you're a hardcore fan of The Walking Dead, pick it up, because I don't think any of those extras are going to be in trade paperbacks. And I think they it really do show this interesting like evolution of his thought process. There's like notes and scribbles on the pages that might have nothing to do with The Walking Dead at all, which I think is kind of entertaining. So for me, as someone who's who's read every issue, like it's been worth going back and kind of fun going back to read uh, 
it issue by issue. Like it's it's fun to revisit it. It's fun to read this new context of it and to see the extras. And I'm really excited to see where those extras go and and the insight goes from there. And then uh, the the other fact is it's coming out every other week, which is a great excuse to go to the comic shop. So loving this, loving this, loving this. As a as a comic book fan, I'm a huge fan of this. Um, I love director's cuts. You know, director's cuts and extras. And if you've never read The Walking Dead, if you if you have any interest in reading it issue by issue, like now's your chance. Go check it out. It's really really cool. If you're a hardcore Walking Dead fan, there is stuff here that is new, that's interesting, um, and it's you know always great to revisit the world. Out now in comic shops. We got a link beneath this video. Put in your zip code to tell if a shop's near you. No shop, no problem. We do have some affiliate links. There are affiliate links, so we get a small percentage of that by doing that. You help support our site, so thank you. And just by watching this video, you support our site, and I appreciate that as always. Now, if you're into comics, if you're into Skybound Image, check us out every single day at graphicpolicy.com. We're on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Tumblr, all at Graphic Policy, keeping it nice and consistent. So until next time, keep reading those comics, and keep it geeky. Hey, thanks for watching the previous video from Graphic Policy Television. Just by watching, you help support our site. Thank you so much. Now, if you're watching these videos, you probably care about geeky things like movies, television, comic books, toys, games, video games, you name it. You can go and subscribe right now to our YouTube channel to stay in touch and catch all the new videos, or check out our website at graphicpolicy.com. There's a nice link on this end of the video. But as always, thank you for watching. Keep on rocking and keep it geeky.